brought it all to the altar. A spear of loss through the heart, a brain marinated in sadness, and worst of all, a tragic belief that nothing would ever get better and I was all alone. I dragged myself there, weighted by anger and disappointment, deep habits that filled in and dominated the picture of my life like mindless, overgrown weeds that can't understand they grow in a garden of flowers. The altar was my last stop, where I didn't believe and I didn't dare hope. Driven by desperation, brought there by a kind, guiding hand, I put my own hands up with borrowed beads holding me together and chanted, nam myo ho renge kyo The sound of my own voice rattling around in my head was odd and distracting. Unable to connect with my own strength, there was only a peripheral glimpse and a vague vision of a self that belonged peeking over the horizon. The gong reverberated. The chanting ended. I didn't know what changed, but when I looked around, the room wasn't blurred by the tears that separated me from my surroundings and a lotus flower had begun to grow. I crawled to the altar, dry and empty. I knew I had to return with enough faith and determination to seed a forgiving rainfall that restored my parched soul and allowed my buried spirit to be reborn. I fly to the altar. I anticipate with childlike innocence the lightning that lets me straighten and look up to the beauty of the same possibilities that only a moment ago seemed like despair. There are two chairs at the altar. Another spirit has joined me. We create sparks of hope where there was loss and peace where there was only confusion. I see an image of what can be, and each day the promise grows in a timeless field of renewal. I run back to the altar. I feel a protective river of sound that flows and encircles me with invisible and impenetrable safety that allows my thoughts to breathe and my old and new hands to reach out to a place they can't be hurt. Symbiotic electricity courses through my arms, carving its shivers of courage to redo the things I gave up on today and to turn away from the trap of deceiving comforts I've always walked into before. I give and take energy from the epicenter of a fusion of voices that spin in a revolving door of focus, that cheer, scream, plead, sing, weep, praise, and vow, that heal the wounds of the past and their cycle of doubt and defeat. My altar has become a dear old friend who waits for me at the end of a long day, the loving, hard-headed mother who listens kindly then sends me on my way to do better. I float to the altar, lifted by vibrations of sound. I see myself approaching a well, an oasis in a desert scape. I look into a spectrum of rippling colors. I wait patiently for the waters to still until I find my own reflection. <laughs>